Hello and welcome to Trojan Talk. I'm your host, Aaron Taylor. My guest today is Kyle George, here to tell us a little bit about uh, a way to learn a little bit about football here Absolutely. at Troy University. Thanks for joining here today. Thanks so, for having me today. And uh, Football 101, this is a, a fun event for the female Trojan fans to get a little bit of knowledge about football. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, I had some guys calling me and say, hey, sorry, it's not for you guys, it's for the ladies here. And this is always a fun event for us, too, because our sixth annual event for this, the ladies get a chance to come out, and it's not just – Hey, how are the, what are the X's and O's, or what's that mean? Well, they, they dig in pretty deep on this. They get a chance to talk to the coaching staff. Our coaches got a lot of questions last year about scheme, what they're doing out there as well, too. We even have an official come in and go over a lot of the rules and such as well. And then they get out on the football field as well, too, and get a chance to go through some of the drills. So it's really a fun night to get excited for the upcoming football season. And it's one of those things that it's – that. You get an opportunity for some fun and some interactive fun for the female fans there. But in a lot of ways, it, it, the female fans may not necessarily have the knowledge that male fans. And I, I don't want to have it sound one way or the other, but it, it's a case where uh, giving a little bit more information opens the eyes to some, some maybe some new football fandom there. Certainly, so. and we've got a lot of ladies that have been coming to this for years that they know it through and through. They love the game, and they can probably coach better than I can out there. <laughs> um, then some ladies that maybe they're new to it. This is a chance to – maybe you haven't been around football too mm -hmm. much, or you've been around for years and you just love being around events like this. It doesn't matter what your expertise is with football. This is a chance just to come in, get excited about the upcoming season, learn a little bit like you're saying about what goes into a football game. Uh, and then that way, too, when it comes time for game days at the vet, they're probably going to know mo more than your average fan sitting next to them as well. And and I, and also just the opportunity to get a little bit of peek behind the scenes. And that's one of those just fun elements when you have an event like this that even though you're learning, the, the chance to get one-on-one -on -one with coaches, the chance to see what's going on, behind the scenes leading up to game day is, is a kind of a unique opportunity for any Trojan fan. It so. definitely is. And that's one of the things that's unique also to this event, like you're saying, because Coach Brown and staff do want a great job of interacting with the ladies, but their families come along for it as well, too. So you get a chance to know personally their families, seeing what they do on game days as well, too. Sometimes hearing from the coaches' wives, you get a chance to learn a little bit more about what really happens inside the huddle there for them. <laughs> uh, but the ladies have a great time with this event. Uh, it's $25 per person. The proceeds from this will go back to helping out the children, the Christian Love Center right here in Troy as okay. well. A uh, chance for them to come back and visit us for ball games throughout the year as well, too. Uh, but for $25, you get a T-shirt. You get the entire evening itself. Behind the scenes tours, like you were saying, get a chance to interact on the field and have those questions right one on one with our coaches as well. Um, so, again, it's a fun, fun night that all ladies love having a chance to come out and be a part of. And one of the things you talk about the field, and that's one of those, the, the, those fun things that, uh, that I've seen the videos from it throughout the years and the chance to get out there and run routes, do drills, do all the things that the players get to do to prepare. Uh, and it just looks like they're having a blast oh, they, out there. They have so. a blast. And that was one of the things that last year, getting a chance to see for the first time here myself, I wasn't sure how the ladies would respond to that, but, man, they had a blast out there. And it doesn't matter what the ladies' age is out there. They have a great time going through the drills, whether that's the blocking drills with the offensive and defensive line, pass catching, throwing, whatever else that is. They just have a great time learning the ins and outs of the game, getting better at themselves too. And they also had a great time in the weight room last year as well. You saw some of the ladies start getting on the bench press, <laughs> ready to throw up a few reps there. So uh, these ladies have a great time with this event. And again, it's not a sit down, listen the whole time. It's very interactive. We want to have fun with this event. You get a lot of food throughout the evening as well, too. So free drinks, free food, you can't really beat that. And I know, and a lot of that interactive part, I know in past years, and, and correct me if I'm wrong if it's not doing it this year, but uh, they've had some input on some things going on in the season. Specifically, I believe the ladies in the past have an opportunity to vote on one of the the ensembles correct, that, correct. The, that the team, because Troy is notorious for changing up the, the helmet, jersey, pant combinations, but the ladies get a chance to put their word in on what one of those combinations will be. So, so. one of the things we talk about is that this event brings football, fun, food, and a little bit of fashion. And sometimes <laughs> that fashion too, yes, there's the game day side mm -hmm. of what to wear for tailgates and such there, but we also bring out the players. This is one of the parts that the ladies always enjoy, first and foremost, because our guys do a great job. They really enjoy interacting with the ladies. You get a chance to meet the players and see who you are cheering for out there. But then they get a chance to showcase all the different uniform combinations 
options that we've got. We've got some great helmets out there, great jerseys, pants, all of that available to us. Uh, Coach Brown, that's always one of the highlights that he loves getting a chance to showcase what these guys wear because you look good, you play good. <laughs> uh, that's one of the things that last year the ladies got a chance to vote on what we wore for the home opener against Alabama State. They went with the Cardinal top, Cardinal pants, as well as the chrome silver helmet there as well too. So a great look that turned out to be in front of a record-setting crowd last year. Hopefully they can do it again for us this year. <laughs> and, and you mentioned there uh, a little bit of a fashion show as well because one of the other elements I know of the evening is an opportunity to, to see some, some fashion, some game day fashions for, for the ladies. So it's not all football. It is an opportunity to see some, some things that they may uh, be interested in in making themselves ready for game day. Certainly. So. We're fortunate because a lot of the local boutiques here in town, they come out, they showcase what they have available that ladies can come out and purchase. So that way, part of getting ready for the football season is you got to dress the part and be ready to cheer <laughs> on your Trojans. So uh, the ladies get a chance to see from both kids' clothes to adult clothes as well. Uh, and last year we had a few of our coaches' kids serve as the uh, models as part of this event as well too. So I don't think they're going to have me serve as a model this year. I'll just stay in the background, make sure they all have a great time. Uh, but it's a fun, fun time when it comes to all those that we have taking place. All right, once again, if they're interested in signing up and, and getting involved, this, what can they do? So Absolutely. $25 per person gets you a T-shirt and everything else that comes along with Football 101. Right. It takes place on Thursday, July 19th. Uh, you can go ahead and register online right now at shoretrojans.com slash tickets. We have an online registration available this year. If you want to do it over the phone, you're more than welcome to. Uh, Miss Judy Morgan, who all these ladies know very well and dear, mm -hmm. uh, you can call Miss Judy at uh, – Sorry, 670-3682. had to get that number stuck in my head there. 670-3682. All right. Well, uh, good luck with this year's Football 101. And I know it's a fun night and a fun opportunity for women to get involved. Thanks for joining us here. Thank so you. Thank you for joining us on today's edition of Trojan Talk.